especially you young people that are considering Bible college. Thank the Lord for Bible colleges that are uh, available to our young people to go to and spend a year at getting some maybe some Bible found, more Bible foundation or maybe spending four years at to get their to get their degree and then go on and do whatever God wants them to do. This is one that we wholeheartedly support and we're thankful for. I'm, I was I was blessed to be able to go there for the very first time uh, last September and was very thankful that I had that opportunity. Brother Nathan and I traveled there, and we were able to be there for a Wednesday night service. And never been there before, but I'm so glad that I was able to go there and looking forward to going back again and again. So, Pastor Wall, you come and uh, share with us about the college, and then the group will come. And then uh, I'll just have you come right after them and preach for us this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pastor Turner. Well, it is, uh, seeing how the group won't introduce me, I have to come up and do that myself. Uh, 25 meetings, they still haven't gotten it down. But, uh, now we're glad to be with you this morning. It is a real privilege. And uh, just a little bit about Faithway Baptist College of Canada. It started 30 years ago, 1983. And uh, through these 30 years, God has allowed us to have over 300 graduates that are serving many, uh, the vast majority of whom are still serving the Lord in local churches. Yesterday afternoon, we got together with many of the Faithway grads or those who've attended in years gone by and with their children uh, we've established a footprint of about 40 in various churches here in the Vancouver area. So we're thankful for that. And just to see them and their faithfulness to the Lord, serving the Lord, you have several here. And we're, we're proud of all of them, and we try to be proud of Brother Sutphin over here. But uh, no, I'm kidding. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. And I'll ask the Lord to forgive me later. But anyway, no, we are proud of them. And to see them serving the Lord in various local churches and uh, staying at it, that's what the training was all about. The local church is the key to reach a world with the gospel. And uh, so as young people come to us, we're not going to step between them and uh, their pastor. We'll encourage them to come home and give their heart to the ministry here and to be a blessing. And uh, so we would encourage you to consider it. It is a school in Canada for Canadian young people. The benefit of that is uh, the young people can get a job in the community uh, we have so many who work at Tim Hortons, we're thinking of starting our own franchise, you know. I mean, we, half of our student body is there. Sam will tell you, he gets some jobs there. And uh, so, you know, I can go through the drive through and they don't give me a discount at all, but they, they do greet me by name, so I guess that's a good thing. But uh, honestly, it, that is a blessing. And uh, so young people can come, they can get to work. Uh, Danielle teaches in a music school there, and... Uh, it, it, it's a wonderful thing and also trying to stir that heart for our, our country. You know, this country is in desperate need of local churches. Yes. Our young people have traveled all the way from Ontario West here to beautiful BC and community after community seeing no gospel witness. Churches struggling, needing help, needing somebody to come alongside the pastor. And so we would ask you to pray for us that God would enable us to keep that passion going in the hearts of young people. We have students around the world in Senegal, West Africa, or, you know, two of our graduates serving there in a 98.5% Muslim country preaching the gospel and in Bolivia and Canary Islands and many, many other points between. So uh, the need is great and we're just trying to be faithful. Uh, we're not ashamed of the fact that we're under the auspices of a local church. We're focused on the local church. We hold to the word of God being our authority. We're not ashamed of the fact that the King James Bible is all we use, teach, preach, and stand for. Uh, we're thankful for principles of modesty, and we want our young people to do right and to dress right and honor the Lord. And then, of course, uh, ministry philosophy, local church-oriented, and music that honors God. So back on the table, there are several recordings. Pastor mentioned in the Sunday School Hour that we're at the end of our tour and we regret that we have uh, sold all of our newest recording but we'll be sending 20 copies of that and you can see pastor turner about that in the days ahead uh, there are catalogs if you're in grade 11 or 12 or recently graduated uh, pick one up and pray about it i know mom and dad in our day and time it's all about career success finding your place in uh, in society but I would encourage you to consider this. Uh, no matter what your young person believes they want to do with their life, whether it's an engineer or a medical doctor, 
for them to take one year and learn how to live before they spend the rest of those years learning how to make a living is not a cost, it's a wise investment. Amen. And they can then be involved in their local church, Sunday school teacher, usher, you know, music, all of those things that make a member a blessing to their pastor. That's our desire. And uh, so you pray for us. And uh, if God would in encourage you to come and visit, we'd, we'd love to show you the non-beautiful portion of Canada so that you come back to BC and say, look what God did here. I don't think he ran out of gas when he got to Ontario. He just wanted you to enjoy it more, and so we come out to see you occasionally. So anyway, I'm from the West. I'm sort of gravitated to the West. I grew up in Southern California, spent 30 years of ministry in Michigan, as your pastor mentioned, and now for the last four years I've had the wonderful privilege of serving in Canada, and it is my joy. So I pray the music is a blessing to you. If we can answer any questions afterwards, we're available. And uh, we're, we're honored to be here today. Thank you, Pastor Turner, for that privilege. His heart was broken, mine was mended. He became sin, now I am clean. The cross he carried bore my burden. The nails that held him set me free. His life for mine, his life for mine. he would die God's son would die to save a wretch like me what love divine he gave his life for mine his scars of suffering brought me healing he spilled his blood to fill my soul his crown of thorns made me royalty his sorrow gave me joy untold his life for mine his life for mine how could it ever be that he would die, God's Son would die, to save a wretch like me. What love divine, he gave his life for mine. He was despised and rejected, stripped of his garments and oppressed. I am loved and accepted. And I wear a robe of righteousness, his life for mine, his life for mine. How could it ever be that he would die, God's son would die, to say,
When truth gives in to fear, there is but one hope, one faith, one Lord. And we will stand strong by the power of his word. When dreams have failed us and we stand alone, when sin assails us and all our strength is gone, there is but one hope, one faith, one Lord. And we will stand strong by the power of his word. Lift high the shield of faith. Stand firm in truth and righteousness. Strength will come from the power of the Lord. Lift high the shield of faith. Trust the word of God and nothing less. Stand secure in the armor of God. We will stand for truth. We will, for peace. We will share salvation's joy. We will live with hope. We will trust in Christ the Lord. Lift high the shield of faith. Stand firm in truth and righteousness. Strength will come from the power of the Lord. Lift high the shield of faith. Trust the word of God and nothing less. Stand secure in the armor of God. Stand secure in the armor of God. Lift high the shield of faith.
ever faithful. 